now on Coast TV News. Harnessing the energy of the sun, the solar farm proposals that went up for public hearing today, what county officials decided? Fighting expanding in southern Gaza where the civilian population is heading. Young artists at work on the coast, how students in Milton contributed to a recently published children's book. Coming up, feel the chill factor frenzy as the temperatures drop and the winds whip up. Stay tuned for a frosty forecast. This is Coast TV News at 5. Seven solar farms seeking approval before County Council today. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with new energy proposals across Sussex County causing some controversy. Sussex County Council held seven separate public hearings this afternoon for each proposed solar farm. In the newsroom is Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner. The sites span from east to west Sussex County and each one seeks conditional use of the property. Charlie, Maddie, all seven of these proposals are proposed by Con Ed, one of the largest energy companies in the world. Now, they would range in size and aim to provide solar energy to homes and businesses in the area that can't put solar panels on their roofs. Here are some of the proposed locations. The proposed sites are for south of Kendale Road in Lewis on the south side of Lewis Georgetown Highway in Harbison, near Old Sailor Road and Woodland Ferry Road near Laurel, South Main Street in Bridgeville. There are three proposals in Delmar, West Line Road, Cast Right Drive, and Old Crow Road, the last of which raised concerns about land use at today's meeting. Solar panels only capture 20% of blight for about five hours a day. Uh, the rest of the solar energy is going to pass through the ground. As a result, the grasses, the broadleaf weeds, eventually woody shrubs, are going to grow. Hammerer worries that in the future, these sites would not be able to be converted back to farmland. Now, council still has to make a decision on whether or not to allow the conditional use that would grant these applications to move forward. But today they voted to defer that decision to a future date. Back to you. Thank you, Mallory. New today, Sussex County Council discussed marijuana this morning. Assistant County Attorney Vince Robertson gave a presentation on the Delaware Marijuana Control Act. He noted that due to the state law, towns can prohibit marijuana sales and cultivation, but the county, it cannot. So Sussex County must craft its regulations, including time and place location restrictions. This is a developing story, and we will have full details on what is proposed in Sussex County tonight on Coast TV News at 6. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. Even though the county is currently not allowed to ban the sale of marijuana, we want to know if it could, what do you think it should do? Let's take a look at the results. Take a look at your screens. It looks like a majority right now, 51% are saying they wish it would be banned in the county, 39% saying they don't believe that, three undecided, and 7% say, with regulation, regulations, which right now is what is going to happen. And this is just the first time we've run the poll this evening, so you can go vote. You can do it real easy at coasttvnews.com, or you can use our Coast TV mobile app. Fighting is expanding throughout southern Gaza, forcing displaced Palestinians to flee once again as Israel tries to destroy Hamas. In Washington, Biden administration officials heading to Capitol Hill to urge members of Congress to act fast to send funds to Israel and Ukraine. NBC's Alice Barr reports on this all while elite college presidents testify in a hearing on growing anti-Semitism. In the Gaza Strip, a growing humanitarian crisis in increasingly tight spaces. The United Nations warning of an even more hellish scenario. The civilian population is moving still further south, trying to escape escalating attacks as Israel seeks to root out the Hamas militants who started this war two months ago. During that time, incidents of both anti-Semitism and Islamophobia have surged in the U.S., especially on college campuses. History teaches us that where anti-Semitism goes unchecked, other forms of hate 
spread. Elite university leaders taking sharp questioning from lawmakers today over combating the rise in hate while protecting free speech. Also on Capitol Hill, Congress is divided over a major aid package that includes funding for Israel. I do not believe we should be appropriating over $10 billion for the right-wing extremist Netanyahu government to continue its current military approach. The package also funds Ukraine. Biden administration officials today updating senators on Ukraine's fight against Russia, as they and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stress that money is quickly running out. Republicans are holding out for major upgrades to U.S. border security. I'm committed to Israel's homeland security. I'm committed to Ukraine's homeland security. But first and foremost, I'm committed to the U.S.'s homeland security. Amid the funding fight, families of hostages still trapped in Gaza pleading for lawmakers help. Every minute is important and their life is at risk. Desperate to bring their loved ones home. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. As we take a live look right now into Rehoboth Beach from our Boardwalk Plaza Hotel camera. Oh, that is sad that it is live and still dark outside <laughs> at uh, 5.06 p.m. Our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams joins us now with our first alert forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening. You know, that's actually a real thing. The lack of sunshine can sometimes make people have the blues, you know. So, so even though it's a little bit humorous, it actually can be a real thing. So we sympathize with those who may deal with that. So we're getting a little bit darker here in Ocean City as well, but we're at 46 degrees. For the rest of this evening, it's really going to be about us just subtly dropping in temps. I mean, we're going to drop into from the mid 40s to the lower 40s as we progress throughout the night. Thick cloud cover will kind of slow that down a bit for us, but that's been the pattern for the last few days. We do have a small craft advisory that's now been activated along the coast from Chincoteague all the way up towards Ocean City. Now that's going to stay in effect until about 3 o'clock for Thursday and that's in effect for the entire coastal region with about 25 mile per hour winds. And now we're focusing on this precipitation making its way towards us. Will it arrive in the form of rain or a flurry or two? That's called a dangling tease there. That means come back a little bit later and we'll tell you more about that. Till then, back to you, Charlie. It's like Paul's done this TV thing before. Happening tomorrow in Fenwick Island, the town will review the dredging committee commitments related to the 10-year comprehensive plan. The meeting will take place tomorrow at Town Hall. That's at 2 p.m. According to the town, all three public notification periods, they've already been completed. And at this meeting, we should learn more about the anticipated timing of the final permits for the project. Reading and English teacher retiree Kathy Miller is using her free time to put her riding skills to the work. She tells a tale of how two mermaids befriended dolphins on an adventure at the beach, but incorporates illustrations from students at HOB Elementary School in Milton, where Miller used to teach. Some students between five and 10 years old were selected by the art teacher to spend five months on this special project. They leave me at fifth grade and I often lose track of where they go from here. So it's very, very rewarding to see they've done this and it's published and it's there forever and ever now. So yeah, very rewarding. The book Under a Mermaid Moon can be found at Browse About Books in Rehoboth Beach and Bethany Beach Books. Happening tonight, the Delaware Department of Education is honoring 20 educational support professionals for their outstanding work supporting their students and school communities in roles such as bus drivers and custodial staff. Out of the 20 professionals, one will be named 2024 State Honoree tonight at 7 p.m. in Dover. Some of the honorees are from local districts. That includes Cape Henlopen, Sussex Tech, Indian River, and Milford. Hey, be sure to pull out your phones and scan the QR code you see right here. It's for your first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. And you'll see the QR code a little bit later again with Paul. Free park days for national parks in 2024. The next dates to mark in your calendar for next year. And you're going to need that QR code for the next few days. The reason why we're wrapping up in a breezy blanket blast. Clouds and cool winds are taking over details soon. And a house in flames after an explosion. The shocking timing of this incident. This is a child trafficking ring. We need to hurry. This case is personal. 
You can't manipulate me anymore. When this is over, you will pay. Found tonight on NBC and Peacock. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I've seen this movie. Didn't like how it ended. Witch! Ben's in a full-blown witch trial. Wait, what? Quantum Leap, Wednesday on NBC and Peacock. Extend the patio season and outdoor family fun with Tyndall's Casual Furniture. Hang out with friends around cozy fire pits and comfortable, high-quality furniture brands like Casual Comfort, Hollywood, Telescope, and North Cape. And don't forget to protect your investment with durable, breathable, and water-resistant covers. Enjoy now and pay later with 100% financing available on all in-stock furniture. For over 40 years, locally owned Delmarva Grown. Tyndall's Casual Furniture in Laurel and Lewis. Delmarva's outdoor furniture experts. Help solve the homeless pet problem by opening your home to a new furry friend. The Brandywine Valley SPCA presents the largest mega adoption event in the country. Hundreds of animals are ready to go home that same day. Adoption fees have been reduced to $35 and include microchipping, vaccinations, spaying, and neutering. Bring the whole family on December 9th and 10th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at all Brandywine Valley SPCA locations and participating partner shelters. For more information, visit megaadopt.com. You hear of more and more families choosing cremation, but you probably still have questions. The Holloway family has been helping local families understand and navigate the options for 140 years. We recognized the importance of having Delmarva's first on-site crematory. Whether you choose a celebration of life with cremation, a witnessed cremation, or cremation without a ceremony, everyone is treated with dignity and respect. That's the difference family makes. Holloway Funeral Home in Salisbury and Pokemon. This is Coast TV News at 5. As you can see there on your screen, a house in Virginia absolutely exploding as police officers attempted to serve a search warrant on Monday. Arlington County police responded to the home on North Burlington Street shortly before 5 p.m. for reports of shots heard. Hours later, as officers were trying to execute a search warrant, the suspect allegedly fired a flare gun inside the home. The blast blew away the front porch. The roof flew into the air as orange flames grew. According to Arlington County Police Chief Andy Penn, the suspect has been identified as 56-year-old James Yu and is presumed to be dead. In a new report, electric vehicles have 79% more problems than other cars. That's according to the latest annual auto reliability survey from Consumer Reports. The director of the group's auto testing center says the issue isn't really because the vehicles are electric. He says the problems arise because EVs are mostly new models and recently introduced car models generally tend to have more issues regardless of what drives them. Frosty flurry forecast is ahead. Will the chilly winds bring more than just a shiver or a little bit of Well, I'm not even gonna say it until we come back. Shop local at the treasure chest for the gift that means more. Say you care about your friends, family, and community this holiday season with a gift from a trusted family owned jewelry store for over 40 years. Happy holidays from the treasure chest on Main Street in Berlin. 16 years ago, we found a community bank dollar with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Hi, my name is Dr. William Duran. I'm an orthopedic surgeon with Tidal Health Orthopedics. I've had the opportunity to perform more robotic surgery than anyone else in the region, and I'm the only one currently doing anterior robotic approach for total hip arthroplasties in Delaware. And it's been a privilege to see my patients make faster recoveries with minimally invasive techniques that we provide. It's been a pleasure to serve the people of Seaford and the surrounding region as they are friends, families, and neighbors to the Tidal Health community. While upgrading your bath or shower, Fast by Spice Brothers is making it easy with a limited time offer. Right now, receive $1,000 off your new shower or bath. Save 50% off installation, plus 0% financing with no payments until 2025. 
Choose your favorite style and color, and it can be installed in as little as one day. Have peace of mind with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty and factory certified five-star installation guarantee. So before you sign, keep Bass by Spicer Brothers in mind. Her spirit, his dream. And the hottest dancing on Broadway now on tour. The music that moved a generation. The story that will inspire a new one. On Your Feet, the story of Emilio and Gloria Estefan. Live at the Performing Arts Center, Sunday, December 17th. Purchase tickets now at ococean.com slash pack. Shop local at the Treasure Chest for the gift that means more. Say you care about your friends, family, and community this holiday season with a gift from a trusted family-owned jewelry store for over 40 years. Happy holidays from the Treasure Chest on Main Street in Berlin. Well, we have a free gift for you. All you have to do is pull out your phone, put it on camera, then scan the QR code, and you'll have the gift of the knowledge of what's happening hour by hour, no matter where you go, because the app travels with you. And we're going to be traveling through some chilly weather for the next couple of days, particularly Thursday morning, okay? Don't let Thursday morning catch you sleeping. I'm going to show you why I say that. Courtesy of our dry tech camera, we're at 46 degrees with the winds at about four miles per hour. Now we're gonna gently just fall into the lower 40s with partly to mostly cloudy skies for tonight. Now one thing that's not so subtle is the winds, particularly along the coast. We now have activated small craft advisors, so we're bracing for about 25 mile per hour winds along the entire east coast for the most part. The cold front is already pushed from the north to the south and a high pressure system you know, to the south of it, but we're really keeping a close around this precipitation that's making its way across the Ohio Valley region. And when you have a bit of an Alberta clipper that's starting to gain some momentum and slide in our general direction, I think it's gonna run up on some, not just too mild uh, pocket of air for it to become a major concern for us. It might sneak in a little flurry, but we're talking little. Like, if you're not there to catch the picture of it, click, probably miss it, if, it happens at all for Wednesday night. But I gotta let you know, just in case you run into a flurry or two, so that you don't say I didn't at least tell you. Temperatures in the 40s, we're at 44 in Lewis, 43 in Milton, 44 in Selbyville at this hour, and we are cooler, about five to six degrees cooler than we were 24 hours ago. Now, just in case you're still picking out pumpkins for your Christmas holiday meal, okay? Or if you're, you know, Sweet potatoes as well, because I want to include both pumpkin and sweet potato pie. We're looking for a high of 45 degrees, only about a 12% chance of rain in the forecast. Now, let me explain to you why I say only a little small 12%. You see, tonight we'll have 40 degrees. Winds are out of the north for Wednesday morning and cloudy skies. I'm going to stop it right around 2.30. You see these small little patches of rain here? We're looking at a hint of rain, so that's where that 12% comes into play for Milford, north of Millsboro, south of Millsboro, and over towards Selbyville. And when they show up, they're going to be brief, and then they're out of here, so... Not so much as far as the possibilities are concerned. Thursday morning, we're chilled out and cold. And then Thursday afternoon. Now, let's talk about what it's going to feel like before we close out the forecast. Wednesday morning, it's going to feel like 32 or freezing. Thursday morning, which I said you don't need to sleep on. Thursday morning, which I said you don't need to sleep on. 24 degrees when you wake up Thursday morning. Friday's going to be 28 and Friday's going to feel warm compared to Thursday. And then we're going to keep a close eye on another round of rain that possibly will come pay us a visit as we go into, let's say, Sunday going into Monday. That could be a concern for us. We'll watch out for. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling the extended forecast. Chance of rain on Sunday going into Monday. Thank you, Paul. You can visit any of the more than 400 national parks without paying an entrance fee on some days, including Martin Luther King's birthday. That's January 15th, the first day of National Park Week on April 20th, and the anniversary of the Great American Outdoors Act on August 4th. We'll be right back. JoJo's in Salisbury serves fresh, homemade food in an upscale, family-friendly atmosphere. Enjoy delicious crab dishes like our colossal lump crab cakes or our creamy crab dip served in a fresh baked bread bowl and the best cream of crab soup in town. Try the new Pineapple Blast or wind down with our wine selection, beer on tap, and other cocktails. Have an event? Reserve your private suite or banquet room today. JoJo's Family Restaurant, where family dines together and dinner tastes better. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV. 
Life isn't always easy. Sometimes we need a little bit of help to work through life's more challenging problems. At Addiction Medical Facility, we are here for you, believing in your strengths to overcome any obstacle. Whether it's addiction to substance use disorders or mental health issues, there's hope for a better tomorrow. Together, we can tackle what is holding you back. Our medication-assisted treatment combines FDA-approved medication with counseling, offering a holistic approach tailored to your needs. Addiction Medical Facility, together we find hope and healing. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you? Magic. Buy a front wheel drive Highlander with financing as low as 3.49%. Or check out an adventure ready RAV4 and get 1,000 finance cash from Toyota. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. The Beach. Get wild on your beach vacation at Barn Hill Preserve. Join us for fun events happening all summer long. Find your zen at Kangaroo Yoga or a playful breakfast at Munchin' with Monkeys. Slow down at Sippin' with Sloths or laugh it up at Kangaroos and Comedy. We also offer daily otter swims, a unique experience only offered at a few locations in the U.S. Or schedule an encounter tour and meet our animal ambassadors up close. Barn Hill Preserve, the world of animals is waiting for you. Sponsored by Ancient Art Stone, where countertops are always a work of art. We love decorating for the holidays and we love seeing your homes. Let's look right now at a festive holiday house from the Riffle family in Milford. Thank you so much for sharing. And you can send your pictures and videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. We've made our way into December and that means bless our children. The campaign is in full swing. As you can see here, the community of Delmarva is already stepping up. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you to the businesses, groups and individuals who have stepped up to the Shell Brothers Challenge of donating at least $1,000 to Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. And we'd like to recognize those friends now by reading the Shell Brothers Honor Roll in the order of the amount given in increments of $1,000. Atlantic Community Thrift Shop, officers and members of Ocean City Elks Lodge number 2645. Clark and Sons Garage Doors. Boggs Disharoon Post 123. Eastern Shore Corvette Club. General Refrigeration Company. Caliber Collision. Carolyn D. Lehman Johnson. Right locations. Seaboard Billboard Boat. Delmar VFW Post 8276. Tony Tank Tribe 6972. Pocomoke Elks 1624. In memory of Stacy Dorch. Salisbury Elks Lodge. Shagrin Gas and Home Comfort Products. Unfinished Business. Cape Henlopen Elks, number 2540. Bunting and Murray Construction. Peninsula Imaging. ASAP Services. Johnny Janosik. Bob Willie and Sons. Classic Cakes. Ocean City Berlin Optimist Foundation. Tuckahoe Underground. Ocean City Berlin Optimist Club. ABC Refrigeration. Edward Jones Office of Melinda Tingle. J. Stacy Hart and Associates. Goldsboro Family Foundation. Wheels That Heal Car Club, Freddie Holland, Alan Corman and Son, Ramco Solutions, in memory of Shirley Doherty, David and Louise, FH Fur Plumbing, HVAC Electrical, Delaware Mobile Surf Fisherman, Pepsi Bottling Ventures, Collins Wharf Sod, Pools, Pavers, and more. Terra Firma of Delmarva, Eastern Shore Auctions by Willie Benton. Apgar Turf Farm, Jefferson, Urian, Doan, and Sterner, PA. King Crop Insurance, Historical Vintage Car Club of Delaware. Murray's Residential Services, Archon Training Center, Towers Concrete Products, Mid-Atlantic Transport, Officers and Members of American Legion Nanocoke Squadron No. 6, in memory of Maurice and Pearl Jordan. GNS Heating and Air, Dagsboro Paint and Wallpaper, MG Safer Services, State Orphans Board, Great Council of Delaware, Mount Zion Holiness Church, Burris Logistics, O'Neill's Millwright and Services, Iron Order Motorcycle Club, Garden Bears Landscaping, 
in honor of Billow Hickman, Shore Fund Tractor Pullers, Moose Lodge 646, Women of Faith Zion Church Salisbury, in loving memory of John Angelus, Wicomico Lodge 91, Holly Lake Campsite, Cary Insurance Group, Ashley Fence, St. Mark's UMC Easton, Linda's Tax and Bookkeeping Services, Delmarva Art Expo and Wool and Fiber Expo, Thomas E. Melvin and Son Funeral Home, Johnson's Seed and Feed, Mike Singleton and Son's Pest Control, Powellville, UMC, Queen City Elks Lodge Number 1051, Pumpkin Chunkin Association, Shore United Bank, Allen Lions Club, Paradise Plumbing, Collins Mechanical in memory of Sam Ellers III, Coastal Maintenance, Richard Y. Johnson and Son General Contractor, CJ's Beach Boys, The Carroll Family, Murray Sod Farm, Members of the Willard's Lions Club, The R.D. Greer and Sons, Bennett's Lawn Service, Accurate Termite and Pest Control, Coastal Towing, Odd Fellows Lodge Number 3, Slaughter Septic Services, American Legion Post Number 63, Delmarva Two-Way Radio, Fillmore Day Real Estate Services, Hickman Beach Plaza, Muggy Spencer, Bethel Community Church. We appreciate all of you stepping up to the Shell Brothers Challenge as part of the Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. If you'd like to help, send your card and donation to Bless Our Children in Care of Draper Media, 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Or you can donate on our website at blessourchildren.org. Thank you. Thank you really, for helping to make this season merrier for children on Delmarva. Happy holidays from all of us at Draper Media. Bless Our Children is administered by the Draper Holdings Charitable Foundation. This weather is brought to you by Men and Sons Real Estate. From gentle ocean breezes to small country towns, Sussex County has it all. That's why you need a real estate company that is familiar with it all. Man and Sons offers decades of experience throughout Sussex County. Whether it's helping you purchase your forever home or find the perfect vacation rental at the beach. Trust our experience. Trust Man and Sons. For over 30 years, the difference is clear. Man and Sons Real Estate. Tis the season for celebrating at Ocean Downs. It's the 12 tournaments of Christmas featuring blackjack and slots. The top three players daily win a share of one grand cash. All proceeds benefit Toys for Tots. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Take a grande, no foam, triple cap, double pump vanilla latte with three and a half ice cubes, slightly shaken, extra whip. Yeah, that's gonna be an upcharge. Great! This one is on my Casasa cash back checking account. Uh huh. Casasa pays me cash back on everyday debit card purchases, plus refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. Go on, take back banking and treat yourself to monthly cash rewards. Casasa checking is proudly offered at County Bank. Transform your outdoor space with Backyard Works. We are Sussex County's one call for all your fence, deck, handrail, pergolas, shower, and trash enclosure needs. Locally owned and operated, we make all our vinyl and aluminum fence right here in Harbison, Delaware, from American-made manufacturers. Cut out the middleman and deal direct. As a Timber Tech Platinum Deck Dealer, our trained team will professionally install your deck that will last a lifetime. Give us a call and let us make your backyard work. How do you feel when you wheel? Nobody's nervous. It's like they're sitting at home on their couch. Fantastic, faithful fans. Keeps it going. Tuesday at 7 on Coach TV. Here's a look at your exclusive Coach TV 10-day forecast. 45 for the high for Wednesday. Now, tomorrow morning we are going to wake up to temperatures and it's going to feel like freezing 31, 32 degrees. But for Wednesday night going to Thursday morning, we're going to drop to 28, but it's going to feel like 26, 24, 23 in some areas. Just to give you a quick heads up, we will warm up going into Friday and Saturday. Sunday and Monday, we're looking for a round of rain, and we're going to go from 66 on Sunday down to 48 on Monday. 
Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition's up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.